Lightsaber. Is this it? That's it? Oh my god, dude. I don't believe it. I don't believe you can make a real lightsaber. Is that Hello it? Hello there. We've just made the world's first retractable plasma-based lightsaber. What the? Is this like real world comic book shit? Make it real. I, it seems like it is. I've never seen this. Big thank you to our YouTube members and Patreon supporters for supporting the channel. They get tons Man, of- Man, fuck this dude. Look at his hairline. Like, that's the way that I- I hate seeing people with good hair in videos. It makes me so mad. Like, that's a, literally the first fucking thing I think of. I'm- I'm jealous. Yeah, I'm fucking jealous. Exactly. Perks, including seeing our videos before anyone else, like the lightsaber test video, which is available on our channel right now for members. There it is. A real, retractable, plasma-based lightsaber. Okay. The pinnacle of sci-fi tech. And probably yeah. one of the most sought-after fictional technologies ever. As you know, we've been developing uh, yeah. different lightsabers, or, like they're called in Star Wars lore, proto-sabers, for the past four years now. Okay. From some initial power supply tests that got the fire department called on us, That's to good. version one, using nitinol wire, to version two, using a tungsten titanium blade hybrid. Version 2.1, so we could have a real life lightsaber duel. Which, what by the way, the was extremely unsafe. Yeah. To finally, our Kylo Ren style lightsaber complete. Yo, that shit's fucking scary. Look at the that. It was extremely unsafe. To f That's like right next to his fucking hand. Like, I I'm, I'm down with like the other one, but like that's right fucking next to it, dude. That's scary as fuck. Finally, our Kylo oh Ren style God. lightsaber, complete with a 3D printed that. titanium hilt. A Holy protosaber, shit. of course, is a lightsaber with an external power pack. Since you know, we don't That's exactly what they used have, have. D-sized batteries capable of putting out more power than a nuclear power like plant. Like the Star Wars, which, uh, by the way, lore. is what you'd need for a lightsaber to function, like it does in the movies. Yeah. Now, in my opinion, what we've oh, made so far okay. are some of the closest representations of lightsabers using real-life technologies. So far. They look like a lightsaber. They sound like a lightsaber. And at temperatures of over 3,000 degrees, they actually cut stuff, like a lightsaber. What as the you know, fuck? the internet is not easily pleased. Those are just red-hot sticks. That's just a red-hot piece of metal. That's not even a real lightsaber. Your lightsaber sucks, and you should feel bad, too. Holy Luckily, shit. Luckily, I have thick skin, since I've read over half a million comments on my YouTube Ooh, channel. Ooh, that's not good. That's equivalent to, like, 200 full-length novels, by the way. So despite yeah. the troll's best wishes... We I wonder if he's smarter after that. <laughs> it's like, you think about... That's actually a really good way to fucking... To, to think about how you're spending your time. Is like, you could have read all of these novels and books and expanded your knowledge, but instead of that, you read 800 tweets about somebody's hot take on American politics. Like, you ever think about that? It's like, instead of that, you could have read, like, I don't know, the fucking encyclopedia, the whole thing. Not given up. Which is good, since, you know, you could count on one hand the amount of people in this world actually working on lightsaber tech. Anyway, how the heck do you make a plasma-based lightsaber? Well, best theories say that plasma is held in a beam by a magnetic field, which scientifically checks out. You see, the issue is producing a strong enough electromagnetic field to contain a blade, well, the lightsaber will quite literally have to be built inside of a box coated in electromagnets, which turns it the into kind of a mean? useless science project. Okay. Woo, I made a lightsaber. That's cool. Luckily, we've come up with an alternate solution to oh. control the flow of plasma, okay. which allows us to make a retractable blade and even change its color. We're going to be using laminar flow. You know, that cool thing where liquids flow smoothly? We actually right. teased this project months ago on our Instagram, which maybe we share too soon, since it's resulted in almost all new comments being, where is the lightsaber? Yeah, exactly. I mean, come on, guys. Y it might not be brain surgery, but building a lightsaber is basically rocket science. It's taking us... It's not. It's because no, it's, it's saber science because it's a lightsaber. If it was a... Rocket light? I never did very well in science class, by the way. 
quite a few months to get just right, and we also had to upgrade our equipment in the shop to even be able to manufacture it. Okay. Like our new Tormach 1100 MX CNC machine, complete with a fourth axis. Holy Bogdan's shit. Bogdan's been pretty excited to try it out. And since Star Wars was a long time ago, this actually looks far, really far fun away, and cool. It's only fitting that our first real plasma lightsaber is steampunk. I think it's Bogdan's okay. turn to design that hilt. Steampunk is a subset of science fiction, which incorporates antique design aesthetics from the 19th century with modern technology. When I was scrolling through to get some design inspirations for the lightsaber, I came across this picture and it instantly caught my attention. Yeah. I think steampunk would be great for this design because we're going to be using a lot of gauges, valves, copper tubing, and regulators, which are going to look perfect in this installation. Here's awesome. the final design of our lightsaber hilt. That, that actually does look like a spaceship. Brass, Holy shit. Copper, stainless, glass, and even leather to give it that true steampunk look. I've even decided to add the Damn. kyber crystal heating chamber using some EL wire and a neon bulb to make it look really cool in the dark. Look. Should I order a lightsaber? You have to be a trained Jedi. Oh shit, I forgot about that, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'd probably cut off at least one finger. Copper pipes that carry our flammable gases are nice and visible, and the adjustment knobs are easily accessible. At least I wouldn't have to worry about it affecting my gameplay Tormach abilities. Machines, we are now able to manufacture much more intricate designs, such as this one. Let's make it real. Okay, let's do it. This video is sponsored by AFK Arena. AFK Arena is a light RPG, the best RPG. Of oh, the I played you. this one in As BFA. You know, we're always crazy busy here yeah. at Blacksmith Industries, which is why we like AFK yeah, Arena. Yeah, it's whenever it's everybody had the absorbs. It's a grindy style RPG, so it doesn't require yeah. a huge time investment. It's I'm familiar easy to get with into this. and can be played casually when you I think have we all time. Have... I've actually caught the team playing AFK between doing uh -huh. work, but hey, that's okay. Well, they don't need to play it oh, because of the AFKs. You're playing a game. What are you doing, man? Just playing AFK Arena. Come on, <laughs> it's running on its own. What an ad! Fight demons, get epic gear, collect heroes, Yeah, what a fucking up. ad. Unlike most RPGs, AFK also has a cool fresco art style, which makes it so much different from all the others. Uh -huh. It's refreshing. Team up with seven unique factions and different hero unions to wow. enhance your strategy and come out on top. With so many different characters to choose wow. from, you feel like a collector. Do Plus, you really? if you use my link below, you can get a special... <laughs> Are you sure you don't feel like a gambler? Like, I actually don't care about, like, the uh, the phone games that have, like, these kinds of, like, pay-to-win stuff. Because that's what they do. I mean, it, it's what they do. They're, they're phone games with pay-to-win. That's, it's just, it, 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 that's what it's about. You know what I mean? Like, I, it, it be, I, what I don't like is when you take a game that has, like, a pre-existing fucking, like, system, and then you make it pay-to-win. If a game's pay-to-win from the beginning, hey, it's, you know. That's life. Hero, either Zafrael or Lucretia. They're celestial and hypogean elite heroes. Of course. Seize the opportunity and download AFK Arena today. Plus, wow. It helps support our channel. Yeah, look at that, dude. Jesus, look at that. Well, I wonder how long this takes. This must take like... Dude, I hate hearing that sound, man. As somebody that has like a fucking phobia of Dennis, I hear that fucking sound, that shit just makes me cringe. Like, actually cringe. Fuck. Fuck, dude. That's badass. One time I made a wooden sword, guys. It's pretty much the same thing. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, putting water on it. I see how it is. So this is them just making the handle, right? Imagine, like, if this is your job, like... It's like, what do you do? I'm an accountant? Well, what do you do? I make lightsabers. What? That's crazy. I've actually watched a lot of, um, this might sound like kind of dumb. I've actually watched a lot of like crafting videos, like IRL crafting videos. And I always thought about getting like a wood turning machine because I think they're just so cool. Like, I'll, I'll watch, like, that and, like, outdoorsmen, like, camping videos constantly, man. Uh, Brock's? I wa I've watched Brock's number of times, actually. Um, like, I, I love that kind of stuff. 
Like, I know that's, like, not really something that I I talk about a lot on my stream because it's, like, kind of different than, you know, my normal shit. But regardless, I, I think it's really cool. Like, I used to like going out in the woods and, like, making things and, and everything like that. Like, I, I watch, uh, like, all the, like, primitive technology videos and, like, the other videos that are like that. Like, there's these other guys that made, like, a pool for Tifu and shit like that. Like, I, I'm a huge fucking fan of that stuff. So, like, whenever I see this kind of things, uh, I'm actually really interested in it. And I think it's super cool to look at. Oh, wait, there's a machine? I, do, I see. I don't even know what the machine is. So, uh, maybe I should do that one day. Uh, I think that'd be really fun. Yeah, I've never looked into it really. I just looked, I watched the video. I thought it looked really cool. Man at arms. I watched all that. Yeah. Holy shit. Look at all those little fucking all those scraps. Oh my god. There it is. That's the fucking lightsaber right there, boys. Okay. So they're making pencils. That's no big deal. Yeah, it's easy. I bet there's like these people probably give them machines or like give them a huge discount because they get advertised on the videos. That's probably the most badass thing about it. Is people will like just give you extra shit so you, sh so you show it in the videos. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah. 100%? Yeah, I think so. Like I've never seen this channel before. So this is my first time watching it. I, I like it a lot. So there's like the little bottom of it. Oh no, that must be the top. Yeah, it's the top. That's so badass that they can actually like put it together and like conceptualize it in that same way. That's so cool. Holy shit, man. They make a lot of cool shit. I see that. Yeah, it certainly seems that way. This is badass. These machines are hundreds of thousands of dollars. Oh, no doubt. I mean, these are like industrial grade quality like machines. Yeah, 100%. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Holy shit. Yo, that looks really cool. I wonder how heavy it is. Hey. Oh my god, that looks incredible. Hey, whoa, put some gloves on. Oh, sorry. Can't oh, get any safety on a first, lightsaber. dude. Safety first. That is incredible. I think you've outdone yourself on this one, Bogdan. Damn. Look at the detail in that. That is really nice. If that's not steampunk, I don't it's know what is. It's your fingerprints? But the real oh. question is, how are we going to power this? Yeah, it makes sense. Even with all of our new equipment and capabilities here at Hacksmith Industries, we're still kind of bound by the laws of thermodynamics. Just use Which magic. We're still going to have to make this into a proto saber with a power pack separate from the hilt. Now, we've okay. made incredibly energy-dense power packs before, but in order to get enough power for a plasma-based lightsaber, we're going to have to use something with more energy-dense fuel. In this case, LPG, compressed liquid propane gas, which okay. can give us 50 times more energy per kilogram than a LiPo. Now, that's a pretty incredible difference. Y yeah, cool it's thing, true. You probably have this right at home. We're talking about normal propane that you use in your barbecue. Okay. Oh, so yeah! So, how do we turn propane into a superheated beam of plasma? The answer lies with one of the most satisfying demonstrations of physics phenomena of fluids. Uh, is it going to explode? Flow. Basically, we need Wait, a large what? array of laminar flow nozzles to create highly concentrated flow of gas to create a plasma beam. Lucky for us, we aren't the only ones who need this, and highly specialized gas nozzles like this can be found at a rather high price. This yeah, nozzle bet. right here costs over $4,000, and it's used in the glass blowing industry. To achieve maximum temperature, we need complete combustion. Which means, in addition to this propane, we're actually going to be using oxygen as well. That doesn't sound dangerous, right? Oh my god! Anyways, let's see how it works. First, turn on the propane. Then, we turn on the oxygen. Some safety glasses. I gotta see those, too. And the sparker. Oh 
Oh, no fucking way. Oh, no fucking way, dude. Holy shit. So look at that. <laughs> is that not a lightsaber? This beam is really cool. Oh, my cool. God. It's actually burning at around 4,000 Fahrenheit. Which That's means hotter it's than the sun. cutting through a lot of stuff. Should we cut Do through it. some stuff? Yes. Whoa. So this is actually our old lightsaber blade made of titanium. Oh and my look at god. That. It's already white hot. Oh my fucking god. That is so bright. Jesus. Oh my god. Look at the that. The really cool dude. thing about doing a flame like this is we can actually color it using salts. Let's start with some boric acid. What color do you think it's going to turn the blade? Purple. Got your guesses? Ooh, look at that. Ah, Next give up, shit. we have calcium chloride. Purple. Ooh. Look at that red orange. I don't want to see orange anymore until I get that last essence, man. I don't want to see that until... That's fucking really, really cool, dude. That's a Sith. Yeah, I want to see that purple, That almost hurts man. to look at. We have some strontium chloride. Purple. Woo! Okay. Oh, that Jesus. is like a road flare. This actually hurts to look at. Look yeah. at that. Finally. I'd assume that you'd probably have, have to wear like chloride. a also now welding goggles salt. for this. Or you'd be supposed to. Woo! And look at that. Where's We've the got purple? we Ray's lightsaber right here. Is that not cool? So we're able to produce a it's blue good lightsaber, a green lightsaber, a red lightsaber, an amber lightsaber, They don't have the technology for purple lightsaber. yet. How awesome is that? That's awesome. should probably turn this off though. Holy fuck, man. That took a lot of fine tuning to get the blade to the right length. Yeah. And turning it off wasn't the most elegant. No. Luckily, Bogdan's going to be actually making a circuit with two fancy valves, which means we'll actually be able to get a computer to control the flow the of gas to allow for this to ignite and retract with the press of a button. So I'm going to let Bogdan handle that. After 12 weeks See, this is what I would rather do. Like, you could get a, you could get a degree in STEM... And you could, like, advance the, you know, the fucking, the body of human knowledge. You could make the world a better place. Or you could make a lightsaber. And that is cool. That is pretty fucking cool, man. Let's be honest. That is pretty fucking cool. Anticipation, we finally got our hands yeah. on proportional control valves. These okay. will allow us to control exactly how much gas goes into the lightsaber and therefore make it extend and retract. Now, we just need to figure out how to control it. And to do that, I'll okay. be making a custom printed circuit board. I'm gonna be using Altium Designer. Easy. This is the industry standard for PCB design software, and it's super powerful. This is the printed circuit board that Charles designed to use for the crisis arm. But since both projects are using pneumatic valves and auxiliary outputs, the, wait, crisis we'll be able to arm. use it whoa, whoa, for a lightsaber whoa, 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 wait a minute. using pneumatic What the f This is the printed circuit board that Charles designed to use for the crisis Sorry. arm. But since what the fuck? That's badass, dude. It's a bionic arm. It's an exoskeleton. Dude, I remember watching Elysium. Did you guys ever see that movie with Matt Damon? And I remember seeing that one dude with the fucking... And they would all use the exoskeletons. And I thought to myself, I'm like, bro, like that shit is going to happen. And now I'm actually seeing like there's like uh, uh, construction workers. I I've seen uh, using them. Uh, not not seen in person, but I've heard of this and I, I've read articles about it. I think it's really cool. Both projects are using pneumatic valves and auxiliary outputs. We'll be able to use it for our lightsaber with some minor modifications. Announcement? Not yet. This board looks great. If you want to use this PCB yourself, mm -hmm. you can use Altium Viewer. One of the only machines we don't have in the shop is a PCB mill, but okay. why would we get one of those when websites like JLC PCB will allow us to order high quality boards in a matter of days for just $2 for five boards. We need like 15,000 boards to make up the cost of one of those machines. Yeah, I'd ordered. say so. Okay. By the way, for that, I'm going to guess... Well, that was quick. Damn. Let's start soldering. That's a fucking sponsorship. You know that dude didn't pay shit for it, man. Like, that's cheap? No, it, it's actually not. The thing is, like, I, I feel like a lot of things people need to understand, like, usually with, like, super high-tech stuff like this, there are some things where, like, the 
uh, the resources needed to make it cost money, right? If you have like gold in it or something like that. But a lot of it is like, it, it's simple like materials and simple, uh, you know, elements that make it. It's just the machine that fucking makes it is super hard to make. Like it's super hard to do, man. And uh, th th that's what I think it is. So it's like you have like a massive fucking fixed cost and then the variable cost for each each item is like nothing. So you just invest in that. And that's why, you, you know, it's like better to just buy things from some people than uh, than make them yourself. You know, it's like, you know, basically importing versus, you know, making it yourself. Look at that. Look at that, dude. I have a friend that does this. Stuff. You have a friend? Man, bitch, shut okay. the fuck up. Bitch, shut the fuck up. To better understand how the lightsaber electronics work, check that. out our page on maker.io. What the fuck? Wow. It's actually not like, it's, it's not super complex. I'll let Chris handle that. Well, this all needs to be polished before I can start building. Like, it, 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 no, it, the thing is, like, it, it's actually not. Like, if you look, so you see that fucking control board? Where is it? You look at this one, go look at your air conditioner. It is, like, ten times more complex than this. Like, it, it really is. So, like, basically, um, uh, we, we have, like, a family friend that's uh, an electrician, and uh, he does work for us sometimes, and... Like, anybody who thinks that, like, people that are, like, especially electricians, are, like, dumb because it's blue-collar work that you do with your hands, you are actually an idiot. Like, this shit is extremely complex, and there's so much, like, technology and, like, electronic expertise that goes into it. it, it it's actually really, really cool. Like, I, I respect it a lot. Our page on Maker.io. We've got to build a steampunk power pack with these pieces. I'll let Chris handle that. Okay. Well... This all go. needs to be polished before I can start building. I'm gonna let Dave handle that. No. Fine. I'll do it myself. All right. Here we go. Boy, they're gluing. They're they're gluing this together. What the what the hell is this for? Wait, what the hell? Wait, what are they even doing? Oh. Damn. Yo, that's fu dude. Where is it? That look that actually looks really good. What the fuck? Like they just put that shit together. Like, whenever I first saw it, I'm like, ah, oh, this is gonna be a piece of trash. And then suddenly he just turns it around and it looks insane. Look at that. Yeah, listen, somebody in chat said they can make a lightsaber, but you're still bald. I know, it's like the eighth time you said that in chat, okay? Like, I fucking, I read it the first time. Now I'm gonna read it out loud so you just stop typing it, okay? Holy shit, man. Okay. 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 This is, dude, this is classy. This is like you have the lightsaber in one hand and like a fucking glass of scotch in the other. This is amazing. Fuck, look at this. Steampunk lightsaber? Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, is this it? Is it about to be it, dude? Here we go, boys. Oh yeah, they're playing the music. Yeah, this is this is the final build right here. You know it. Can they make a dick saber though? They don't need to. I already have. <laughs> the fucking sound. Damn.
Oh my god. Okay. We did it. The world's first retractable plasma-based lightsaber. Now obviously we're going to have an amazing test video for this. We've got tons of stuff set up behind us to really put this through its paces. Including so it's very clear i want to say one thing it's very clear that they don't have they don't show the full end of the lightsaber because the odds are it probably comes up at a point and so it's not the exact same thing because there's not a uh a, like it fit yeah it does fizzle out but like a who cares who fucking cares dude <laughs> like it doesn't matter at all like it, it's still fucking badass yeah, I'll take it. through a steel door. Yeah. Anyways, that video is actually available right now for our Patreon supporters and YouTube members, which is a great time to support okay. the channel and get to see this video early. For everyone else, it'll be out next week. Thanks for watching, and make sure you All subscribe. All right, we're going to watch that, dude. <laughs> that is fucking cool. No fucking way. Oh my god. What the hell is that about? Still in better condition than my car. God damn. That is really, really fucking cool. And this is the test of their old one, right? Oh, oh, this is the member only. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, that is so fucking crazy, man. Look at this. I want to go back over and see. Look at that. Oh, my God. It looks fucking badass, too. Dude, how many... Dude, how many years do you think it's going to be until they can do it without the backpack? Because in the Star Wars lore, whenever they first originally made lightsabers, they had backpacks. And then a t 20... I bet it'd be like 30 years. Like 20, 30... I, I bet it won't be more than 50. So I'll be able I'll be able to have a lightsaber, man. That's gonna be great. Uh yeah, that'll be fucking badass, dude. How do you know that? I know a lot of things, man. Uh that's what it is. Star Wars is trash. Well, I, yeah, but, but it is kind of stupid. But like the lightsaber is like the the one cool thing that I think everybody can agree on from Star Wars. It's like no matter what, this is really cool. Yeah, I mean there are some dumb things about about Star Wars. Okay, I'm not like a huge Star Wars fan, but I think the uh, the extended universe is pretty fucking cool. That is fucking nuts. Well, regardless, I'm very impressed by this. I'll say that for sure. These guys did an incredible job on the video. I'm gonna like the I'm gonna like the video and I'll share it with you guys. Obviously, I mean, it's got six million fucking views, but I feel like I should share it anyway. Uh, this is really really good. And I want to see here, world first proto saber. Oh, so this is it, right? This is the first one they did. Wait a second. And there you have it, the world's most inefficient vaporizer. Die, Stormtrooper. In fact, Holy it's so shit. hot, it ignites things just by touching. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's great. So it's okay, drawing torch a saber? ton of power right now. It's getting super red hot, but look, it's also smoking like crazy. That <laughs> Real <laughs> lightsaber duel? What the fuck? James Gunn Madden, Bree Pal, who makes all sorts of batteries from anything from smart glasses to race cars. What so this the lightsaber fuck, functions dude. exactly the same as... Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my... That's... Jesus. Basically a flame sword? I'll take it. You're like a brother to me. That is fucking cool. Announcement? I said an hour and a half. I said an hour and a half. Fuck. Damn, that is really, really fucking cool, okay? Tivu's Blazing Nerd Sword? Yeah, I guess so.